to select a hearing aid. This video has been designed to walk you through the process of selecting a hearing aid that is best suited for you. Details will be provided for customers that have an audiogram, as well as those that do not. If you don't have an audiogram, but you suspect you have hearing loss, it's always a good idea to get a hearing test. However, if you aren't ready to take that step, and you only have minor communication difficulties, such as needing to turn the TV up louder, or you miss parts of conversation in noisy situations, then we encourage you to take a look at our selection of in-the-ear or mini-behind-the-ear hearing aids. These hearing aids will help you understand speech more clearly, allow you to enjoy a TV program at a comfortable level, and help filter out background noises. They are ready to wear and designed for people with mild to moderate hearing loss. If your hearing loss is more profound and you don't have an audiogram, we highly encourage you to watch our How to Get Your Hearing Checked video so that you can obtain an audiogram. If you already have an audiogram, then it's time to help you find the hearing aid that is best suited to you. The first question to ask yourself is, what style of hearing aid is your preference? In general, there are three types. In-ear hearing aids, mini behind-the-ear hearing aids, also known as open fits, and the full-size behind-the-ear hearing aids. To learn the pros and cons of each type of hearing aid, go to the pros and cons section of our website where you will see a detailed analysis. Please note that the nature of your hearing loss will typically narrow the range of hearing aids that are appropriate for you. Once you've decided on the style of hearing aid that you prefer, click on that category's name on the website. Next, click on any of the hearing aids listed to find out more about it. Once on the products page, find the tab titled Fitting Range and click on it. You will now see a chart that resembles an audiogram. This chart is called the Suggested Fitting Range. It is the same as an audiogram but with the addition of the shaded areas. These shaded areas are an indication of the range that this particular hearing aid operates in. If the X's and O's that appear on your audiogram fit within the shaded area, then this hearing aid would be a good choice for you. If your X's and O's fall outside of the shaded area, then this hearing aid is probably not a good fit for you, and you should continue to browse through the other available hearing aids. Here is an example of an audiogram that shows mild to moderate hearing loss. We will click on the mini behind the ear category, and then on the Rosebud Basic Open Fit. Here is the fitting range for this device, and here is the audiogram. As you can see, the X's and O's all fit within the shaded area, so this device would be a good choice. Now let's look at an example where the person has severe to profound hearing loss. We will select behind the ear, and then the Audition SP Basic. Here is the fitting range for this device, and here is the audiogram. As you can see, all of the X's and O's again fall into the shaded area, so this device would be a good choice for this person. That's it. You're now ready to select and order your new hearing aids. For assistance with this, please watch our How to Order video. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at support at centuryhearingaids.com or 888-295-2944. Thank you for watching and have a great day.